My Bible is written in English, but sometimes it seems like a foreign language. Some things I just don't understand. That's okay. Like everything else, it might take some time to learn how to understand God's Word. Have you ever struggled to understand the Bible? I'm Zach, and you're tuned in to listener-supported Keys for Kids. If you've ever struggled to really understand what the Bible's saying, guess what? When you become a believer in Jesus, God gives you the Holy Spirit to help you understand, but you have to ask for help. Just listen to what Solomon, one of the wisest men in history, said in Proverbs 2.6. The Lord gives wisdom. From his mouth come knowledge and understanding. Also, don't be afraid to get some help from your parents or a pastor, too. That's another one of the ways that God can help you learn. Now, let's listen to our story. It's entitled Foreign Words. We had such cool visitors in our social studies class today, Ollie told his parents one evening. Mrs. Berg invited a Vietnamese family to talk to us about their culture and tell us what it's like to try to fit into the American way of life without losing their heritage. Interesting, said Dad. What was the hardest thing for them? Learning English. Ollie got up and took a paper out of his backpack. This is what their language looks like. Mom and Dad looked at the foreign words. I know it would be hard for me to learn this, said Mom. And life would be confusing and scary if I couldn't talk to people or understand what they said to me. It sure would, agreed Dad. And I'm sure it's just as scary and difficult for them to learn and understand our culture and language. He reached for his Bible. Time for devotions. Ollie, who had started to get up, sat back down. Okay, but you know what? Some of the things in the Bible are hard for me to understand. About as hard as some of these foreign words. He shrugged. I know our Bible is written in English, but some parts of it still don't make sense to me. Tell me, said Dad. Did the Vietnamese family finally figure out what our English words mean? Not all of them, but they understand a lot more now than when they first got here. How did they learn the meanings of English words? asked Dad. They studied and studied, said Ali. They got some help from teachers and friends, too. In other words, they were persistent. They kept studying, said Dad. We need to be persistent in studying the Bible, too. The more we study it, the better we understand it. And we need to ask for help, said Mom. Your dad and I can help you understand some things, and Pastor Baxter and your Sunday school teacher can help too. But most of all, God can help. The Holy Spirit gives us wisdom and understanding about Jesus and the truth of His Word. When we read the Bible, He helps us understand what God is saying to us. Dad nodded. As you read and study the Bible, ask God for wisdom, and He will help you. So how about you? Is reading the Bible hard for you? If so, don't give up. Other Christians can explain hard words or verses you don't understand. You can also get a translation of the Bible that uses the kind of language spoken today. The more time you spend in God's Word, the more you'll understand. And above all, ask God to help you understand what he's saying to you. Our key verse is found in the Proverbs chapter 2, verse 6. The Lord gives wisdom. From his mouth come knowledge and understanding. And our key thought today, God gives understanding. If you like to listen to the Keys for Kids stories every day, then you'll love to listen to Keys for Kids Radio. That's our radio station made just for you. And you can catch me there every single day on Keys for Kids, Down Gilead Lane, and Red Rock Mysteries. There's even interviews with Connie Kendall from Adventures in Odyssey and other kids just like you. Find it all at keysforkids.net today. Well, as always, I'm Zach. Thanks for listening to Keys for Kids. Keys for Kids.